My name's Todd Novak. I'm with Permobile. I'm the local uh, Houston representative for Permobile, and today I wanted to talk to you about the new heavy-duty chair from Permobile, the M300 Heavy Duty. What's really exciting about this product is that there's really not another product out there right now that will take care of the bariatric client with a really super powerful, durable power base that also has multiple changes of position during the day, which is so important for comfort and for function for anyone. So what I want to do first is spin this chair around so you can take a look at it. This chair has power tilt, power recline, and power leg elevation, but you don't see a lot of boxes and cables exposed. And so what that does, it just cleans up the look of the chair. Aesthetically, this chair looks good. And what you have to realize about any power wheelchair, any mobility device, is that people want to look good. So, what, you know, I got up today, knew I was doing this presentation for you guys, got all ready. If I have a disability, I do the same thing, but I get into a wheelchair. So why can't it look good, too? So with that said, I want to talk to you about what we're doing at Permobile to make this chair so powerful. Talking about the base of the chair first, things that we've done is we've just kind of enhanced the strength of all the componentry. So the spring that allows the suspension of the mid-wheel drive base has been strengthened and reinforced for the heavier weight capacity. The other things that we've done, we've actually increased the width of the base of the chair out to two inches wider, so it's a 26 inch wide base. We've also increased the depth of it, so it's a two inch wide, a deeper base as well. The other things that we've done at Permobile to really give this chair enough power for the bariatric user is we have a 120 amp um, controller on the chair. That 120 amps is just gonna give you more oomph over thick carpet, over the grass, for a user to be really active in the chair. With the 120 amp controllers, going to get them where they need to go. Um, the other thing we've done is we've changed the gear ratio on the motors of this chair so that it goes five miles per hour, but it's going to have enough torque to get you over things you need to get you need to get over for the active user. All right. Next, I want to move up into the seating system on the chair. This bariatric seating system is very similar to the 3G seating system we launched a couple of years ago. But what you'll notice is that everything has been reinforced. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of the chair with a leg rest, and I'm gonna work my way up and tell you everything that we've done. On the leg assembly of this chair, we changed the entire leg design so that now it's a piece of, it's a cast steel piece for the leg assembly instead of welded parts. So that makes it a lot stronger. We also changed the slide plate so when the legs elevate up and articulate out, it's going to move more smoothly and it's going to be able to handle the weight of someone's legs in this chair. We also put a wider strap on the back of it and that's going to allow it to be stronger as well. You'll know, um, we also changed the design of the calf pads. These are the curved calf pads. If you have the flat calf pads on the chair, the foot plates will actually flip up and fold flush. So they won't be in the way whenever someone's transferring in and out of their chair. Another change to the design is that a lot of patients that have larger legs, they actually sit in a little bit of external rotation at their hip. And so their feet will also wanna be externally rotated. So to be able to support someone properly in this chair, we actually have a, an adjustment feature where you can loosen a bolt and actually rotate those foot plates out to support someone accurately and appropriately on their, their foot plates. Moving up to the seating system on the chair, you have a wide range of widths. You can actually get a 19 wide seat, 21, 23, or 25. The seat depth is adjustable from 19 to 25 also in one inch increments. Over 80% of the components from the 3G system to the heavy duty have been reinforced and strengthened to help support the user in this chair. One of the big concepts and one of the big design things they wanted to achieve with this chair were the stronger legs and stronger armrests. Whenever you have a heavy user and they're really going to be pushing through these, the leg rests and the armrests, we had to reinforce them. So what Permobile has done on the arm assembly is we've actually extended the arm that holds the armrest and that's cast steel now. So it's going to be longer and stronger than it was before. We also have added you can't see it right here. We've added a double unitrack rail underneath the arm for more support. And lastly, we actually added another support pin. The support pin is actually going to help just stabilize the system and make it a lot stronger. 
Something new to the HD model is we're actually going to have the ability to adjust the, the distance between the arms from 20 inches out to 25 infinitely. So if you remember the 3G system, you had certain uh, distances you could move to. On the heavy duty, it's an infinite slide, and I'm probably very well, most excited about that. Because if you're adding lateral supports, you need the arms to flip back. You, all you have to do is just sleeve the arms out past the hardware, and that's going to be a really nice new adjustment on this model chair. I did want to talk about the backrest a little bit. We changed the design of the backrest to give a wider, um, a wider area of support for the bariatric client so that they have a larger surface area that's supporting them. You'll also notice that we added the lumbar shims in here so you can get good posterior pelvic support for the person and allow their extra tissue to be able to go back behind it. The back widths available on this chair are going to be 20 wide, 22 wide, and 24 inches wide. So you're going to have enough room to really support someone the right way. You still have the new uh, top of the backrest is going to be able to pull over the top of the back. And that's going to allow to help keep it in place as someone's tilting and reclining in the system. The next thing I wanted to show you and what's really different from the Permobil HD chair than anything else that's out there right now is you're getting all of this from one manufacturer. And why that's a benefit to the end user is they're going to be able to get their chair more quickly. But also, if there's a problem with the chair, you don't have a base from one manufacturer and a seating system from someone else. You go to one person to get service done and we'll be able to take care of your needs. This is also a chair that has 45 degrees of power tilt, so the chair will tilt back 45 degrees has 175 degrees of, of leg elevation and 150 degrees of recline. That's about 15 more degrees of recline than anyone else is offering right now for the 450 pound capacity. On the tilt plate, we're actually using a stronger steel um, and so that's gonna allow it to be stronger. And on the power recline, we're actually, the, the recline actuator itself is two times stronger than what we used on 3G, but we're also using a 1500 Newton strength gas strut to help pull someone back up out of recline, because that's where an actuator really needs the most help. So what I wanted to show you now is just our independent repositioning mode. You probably have heard about that before, but it's a way for you, the user, to be able to get a really good pressure relief or you also just change your position to get back in the chair to reposition yourself. No one else has anything like this in the market right now, and it's a really valuable tool for you to use daily. So I'm just gonna go over, and I'm gonna hit this button, and what I can do as the programmer is I can go in and set the in position. And the chair is always going to tilt first, which is the proper way to get back into a laid out position. You wanna tilt first so that gravity helps keep you back into the chair. Then the legs will fire and they'll extend. And you get to set that all these angles are all programmable. Once the legs are at the position, at their full elevation, then the back will recline. Once you get into this position, this is a really great position for someone who has a lot of edema or swelling in their legs. They can get in this position, their feet are elevated above their heart, and now you're gonna be able to help control some of that swelling. Pressure relief, if you have someone with repeated pressure ulcers, if I map someone and I see that this position is their optimal pressure relief, all they have to do is go to this one function, hit one switch, and it goes here every time. So they're gonna be getting their optimal pressure relief every time they're in their chair and they do this. To come back out of it, I just have to pull back on the joystick once. I've actually latched these actuators so the chair moves the whole time. It's great for demos, but you don't have to do that for someone. They can control it themselves. So the back angle comes up first, that keeps someone bucketed into their chair. The legs come back down, and then the chair untilts, and I can stop it anywhere I want. Now that's smart technology that's going to allow the users to be as independent as possible and optimize their you know, day in the chair. People in their wheelchairs have to have multiple changes of position. Movement equals comfort. Movement equals comfort. Our bodies are meant to move. This chair will allow you to do that. For more information about this product, please call your local New Motion location or 1-800-500-9150.